So I'm making this video just to show you all the games in the Orange Pi, the emulation station, just to test out everything, just to let you see everything, how everything works. Again, you can see my reflection. I'm using a crappy webcam on a bunch of boxes here. My digital camera does not work. So I'll show you. We've got Atari, tons of different games here. The Game Gear. Got the everything in alphanumeric right here down the list. Shows some game descriptions at the bottom right there. Shows the box art in the middle of the TV. It's a little bit stretched out because that TV is pretty much for if you want to play videos of the games. I don't have that set up. Uh, it just takes a lot of resources, tons of videos, takes up tons of space. So I just like it this way. So we've got Game Boy. Back. I've got Game Boy Color. Tons of stuff here. There's Cody right there. I'll show you that in a different video. We've got the arcade games, which is pretty fun. So we've got tons of stuff. I'm actually going to show you an arcade game. So if I click on it, arcade games load up differently. You'll see this differently than the actual consoles because it's like the whole arcade game booting up. That one was pretty quick. That's that doesn't show what I was talking about. But I press select right here to insert a coin. Press start. So you can see the width of the screen. It set it up properly for the game. If it was all the way out, it would be stretched out and it would look terrible. So you just shoot. I got killed right away. So if you want to exit a game, you just hold down start, select. And that's the same for all the systems, all consoles, everything right there. So there's tons and tons of games right here. So I go back. There's Sega Master System. It's got all these games here. It's got the Mega Drive, which is Genesis. Tons of games again. Everything starts off at the top with the numbers and A and B and all that. I'll show you an N64 game here. I'll show you it working with this little SNES controller. If you want to get every game working, you'd probably want something that has more buttons on it, just to take advantage of all the buttons. Now, I'm going to try for Mario Kart. So I'll go Mario Kart 64. I'll select it. Just take a moment to load up, but everything should load up and it should be flawless in terms of the video, the audio, everything should be good. So I just click start right away. So I'm just going to click Mario GP, 50cc is okay. And click Mario to be quick. Just going to click everything right here. Yeah, it's starting up. So yeah, so everything works there. And again, I just click Start Select on the controller to exit. So that's good. You can play tons and tons of games there. Uh, Neo Geo is pretty good. It's got lots of the fighting games. There we go. What's the most popular fighting game? Yeah, the King of Fighters. You can see there's tons of different King of Fighter games right here. And if you see something like this, sys check. That's system check. That's part of the BIOS. That's just to make everything work properly. Sometimes they're in there. You got Nintendo. I'm just gonna, if I press select, I can go and I can switch to which letter I want. So I'm just going to go right to S. Actually, I'm going to go to T because it's easier to get to Super Mario. Go up, click on Super Mario 3. Just takes a moment to load up. And there we have it. Let's press start. So you can see it plays just perfectly. Like the actual console, and I died, so we're gonna end. Obviously, I died on purpose. Or did I? Uh, PC Engine. PC Engine is Turbo Graphics. We can test one of those out. We can go to Bonk's Adventure. This wasn't too popular when I was a kid. There weren't many systems made or games made. Yeah, just starting it up here. And there you go, both.
Now, the last thing I'll show you is the PlayStation. Now, PlayStation is great on this. We got Crash. I what I've got on right now is Crash Bandicoot, Final Fantasy V, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, games like that. Now, I can't fit too many on here with all the other systems uh, because these are the largest file size for the games here. But I'll just click on Crash Bandicoot. It plays fine with a SNES controller like this. But if you want to take advantage of the other games, you're going to need uh, an actual uh, dual analog stick controller with all the buttons on it. So yeah, it's starting up right here. This might take a little bit to start up since it is a PlayStation game. So I never played this back in the day, but it seems pretty fun. Loads up quickly. Looks pretty good too. So we're at Insanity Beach. Lost all that stuff. Jump, kill that guy. Jump over that. So yeah, that plays pretty well. So yeah, Retro Pie, just the settings you can change. I wouldn't change it if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, Super Nintendo right here. Super Nintendo is great. So yeah, that's everything uh, that I have on here for the Retro Orange Pie on Emulation Station.